Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2013 Toyota Venza. Now the most notable features on this Venza is its heated front seats. You also have your navigation system along with your power moonroof. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2013 Toyota Venza. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Venza is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if you take a closer look just down below here you'll see your block heater and over on the side you have your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors and heated mirrors. And then you do have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls, power tailgate release, and your traction control on and off. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls for your driver 1 and 2, along with your window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, as well as your back, scroll function, mode select, Bluetooth with voice recognition, and cruise control. Now you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now I'm just going to close in on the exact kilometers just so you can see what it's currently sitting at. Now normally you would have some additional display options here, but if you take a look just at the very top of the center dash here, this is where it will be located. You have your digital clock, exterior your temperature gauge, and then this is also where you will find the dual zone climate control temperatures and you'll find the distance to empty, but you're going to swap through that info just by hitting the info button right beside the hazard lights there. So once you hit the info button, you can see a couple of other additional features inside here as well. Now taking a look at the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different options on here as well. So if you head inside the setup menu, you'll find your general Bluetooth phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now inside the apps menu, you'll see uh, your navigation system. So if you're wondering where it's located, it's just located in the apps menu. Located down below, you have your temperature control settings for your dual zone climate control, along with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, matted to an automatic transmission. You'll also find that you can place your phone just here, just while it's sitting in the vehicle. And if you need to have it plugged in, you can plug it into the USB auxiliary input or the power outlet just by slicking the cord that's just located down below here. Now taking a look up top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with the digital compass. And at the very top, you'll see your open and close for your power moonroof with the tilt up and down feature and your integrated garage door opener controls with your sunglass case holder. Now I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so you can see what it, your backup camera looks like. So as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you're trying to back into a stall. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side and your rear hatch release located over on the right. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now the nice thing is you do have the tonneau cover in the back there so if you want to cover up your valuables just by going from place to place just so people can't see what you have in the back there, you can do so. You also have a 60-40 split for your rear seats so in the event that you do need the additional space right away you can actually just fold them down just by pulling on the two handles that you see on either side here. Now the other great thing is you do have the cargo mat in the back here so if you spill any liquids on this it makes this things much easier for you because you can actually have it removed and cleaned up properly afterwards and underneath the floor you will find your spare tire as well as your jack and toolkit as well so if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch you know exactly where it's located now the other great thing is this also comes with the original set of tires and rims and once you're all finished up all you have to do is just push on the button once and it will close the tailgate for you automatically making things much easier for you especially when you have your hands full of groceries or the kids sports bags. 
Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2013 Toyota Venza, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.